What's shaking everybody? Mark here from Personal Training Biz. Today, I wanna to talk to you about marketing, of course, in your personal training business. Um, I get hit up, you know, on a daily basis with some upset personal trainers, you know, ones that will talk to me about, you know, that they're just not getting growth from whether it's, you know, Facebook ads, their SEO, their website, um, just not having the right fans, you know, not the right followers that they would say, but of course, I uh, will jump in right away and talk to them about the fact that, that maybe the wrong people are seeing their content and um, the fact that they shouldn't just rely on those things. Um, you've probably heard me talk on this before that you need to diversify your marketing um, and, and pick a few um, um, ways to get your, your, your name and your brand and your service noted by, noted, uh, known by the right people in the community or, or worldly. And um, so yeah, I get I get hit up a lot, you know, and like Mark, the Instagram algorithm's changing. Well, of course it is. So stop relying on just Instagram. Can it help? Of course it can. But who are, who are your followers? Who's seeing your stuff anyway? We'll get back to that. But I get people um, saying that the, the you know, of course, Facebook al algorithm isn't wonderful, especially especially for business pages. But even their their ads are not working. Well, again, are you sure that you're targeting the people that you want? I mean, are you absolutely sure? No, you're not. That's why, again, I like to reach out to people directly. I get to choose who sees my stuff or who gets known by me. And again, whether it's through LinkedIn, I can reach out directly. Whether it's the note in the mail, you know I love that one. I can send it to who I want to work with. That president of that bank over there or that plastic surgeon or that CEO, or that stud quarterback, or that amazing, you know, volleyball player. I get to choose. Um, it's very personal. So again, that's why I say don't rely on one way. But to, in, to social media, if you're super comfortable using social media, then fine, directly reach out to people using social media. There's a DM button, you know. There's a Facebook message button. Um, LinkedIn is direct. You can absolutely headhunt Tina Smith the partner in that law firm, you know, instead of just posting away and hoping, hoping the SEO works, hoping that your Facebook ad works, you know, hoping that your followers see your posts where, well, you know, back to that, are the right people seeing your stuff? Remember, I've, I've talked about cleaning up who you follow on your social media pages. You, you want to be followed back by the right people, right? So why don't you follow the right people? But again, many personal trainers are following other personal trainers or people like The Rock and Beyonce. What good does that do you? No, it fills your feed with, with stuff you don't need, stuff that really isn't gonna help you. So let's fill our feed with um, information from people that we would like to have hire us so then we can engage with them. So let's say, you know, you made a contact with this hotshot lawyer in your city and he or she posts something, boom, you got to see it. Then you can engage with them. Same thing goes on Instagram, Facebook, friend and or follow people that you can help. People that can help you also like, yeah, follow me. I can help you. Um, but you need to be following people that you want to have hire you instead of Tony and Cindy, trainers in Australia and in the UK. I know we want to help each other and, and, and support each other. I'm all for that. But when your feed is constantly giving you posts from other personal trainers, I'm sorry, but who cares? It's not going to grow your business. Let's get the right people to see our stuff. So let's follow the right people. Let's have the courage to start on following some people. Okay, if you're not getting any love from all these people and they're not helping you one bit either, you have to have the courage to unfollow them and let's clean up our feed, okay? And then we can start diversifying our marketing plan and not relying on one or two things. You guys see it here, um, mid-2019, Instagram's changed a lot, hasn't it? Just in the last month, you know? So what's gonna help you get known, get noticed, your posts noticed? Well, you want people that can use your information to click on it, comment, like, share it, save it, all right? Is the other trainer from across the world gonna save your post or share your post? Probably not, because they're worried about themselves. And rightly so, they should. So a couple things in this, in this uh, video today, guys. Let's diversify 
our marketing plan. Let's work on directly reaching out to people. Can SEO help? Yes, if done properly. Can Facebook ads and Instagram ads work? Absolutely, if done properly. Can YouTube help? Of course it can. But let's get the right followers. Let's get the right people to see our stuff. Let's be a little bit picky. That's why directly reaching out should be added to your marketing plan. Again, the note in the mail, the DM button, Facebook message people, comment on their posts, follow them, friend them, get known by them, show some love, they might follow you back, then they're gonna see your stuff, stuff that they need to see, you know? The hotshot lawyer working 70 hours a week needs your information, he needs your help, or she needs your help, okay? So instead of, you know, Cindy, the, the you know, great personal trainer out of whatever Des Moines, Iowa senior stuff. You got, you know, Cindy, the, you know, big time partner in a law firm. Okay. Um, and again, a lot of those people might not see your stuff on Instagram, especially the older crowd, the baby boomers and stuff, you know, the, the 50, 60 years old, they're probably not on Instagram, but it can help. It can help grow your brand and help you get known. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, what you're doing right now. Are you cleaning up your social media pages? You've got to unfollow some people. You've got to clean it up. Why are you following 7,000 people on Instagram? Clogging your feed with a bunch of nonsense. Most of it. You know whose stuff you're going to see right away? The Rocks, because it's popular. Everybody's comment, comment, comment. You know, the Gary V's of the world. You know, they can only give you so much inspiration. It's time for you to get to work, you know? I want you to see, of course, my stuff, but I want you to see posts from people that you can help and posts from people that can truly help you, okay? So again, let me know your thoughts. How are you, you know, diversifying? Are you willing to clean up your, your, your social media page by unfollowing some people? You know, let's get the right people seeing your stuff. I see people going live on Facebook and Instagram all the time. And there's crickets. Why is there crickets? Because it's people, the eyeballs seeing your stuff have no interest in it. You know, it's other trainers. You know, they all oh, heard this before. I just did a video on this yesterday. You know, so uh, let's be a little bit smarter in those two realms. Again, turn on notifications. I'm not going to waste your time. Um, um, I'd love for you to see more of my actionable strategies and mindset strategies. Um, never waste your time. Hit me up anytime. Email marketpersonaltrainingbiz.com. And um, again, share, share your thoughts below. Let's help each other because as, as more personal trainers do better, it helps our industry as a whole. It creates more trust and credibility to the buyers out there, okay? Um, when we see trainers fail in this industry, then the buyers out there start to question, you know, should I jump into this or am I going to lose my trainer too? Because Cindy did and Steve did. You know, we want to create some longevity in this industry. That helps everybody, okay? I'll leave you alone. Comment below. Talk soon.